everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be benchmarking the Google Pixel 4a, the Google Pixel 4a with 5G, and the Google Pixel 5. We'll be going over in Tutu Benchmark and Geekbench 5 for the benchmarks in today's videos. If you're interested in any of the products that you see here, the links to them will be in my video description below. Please go ahead and check them out there. Now let's go ahead, let's jump right into our benchmark results. So here are the Intutu benchmark results right here. You can see we got the Pixel 4a 5G with the score of 35, 13, 25, the Pixel 5 with the score of 37, 21, 91, and the Pixel 4a with the score of 33, 99, 12. Let's go ahead, let's look at each individual result right here. So first up, you can see our CPU scores. So 90, 15, 6 for the 4a 5G, 11, 0, 3, 93 for the Pixel 5, in 10, 32, 81 for the Pixel 4a. So let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail for each device. You can see complete breakdown right here. So we're using the same Snapdragon 765G 5G processor for both the 5 and the 4a with 5G. The Pixel 4a, you can see, we're using a different processor right here. So for the Pixel 4a, we're using the Snapdragon 730G instead. And you can see the complete breakdown. Next, let's go to our GPU options right here. You can see the 4A 5G got a score of 10, 10, 19. The Pixel 5 got a score of 94, 78, 7. The Pixel 4A got a score of 88, 59, 5. And again, different GPUs. So we got the Adreno 620 for the 4A 5G and the Pixel 5. We got the Adreno 618 for the Pixel 4A. So you can see the difference in performance there. Now let's go to our memory. So you can see the memory score right here. 72670 versus 69352 versus 5838. So difference in memory right here. So the Pixel 5a has more memory. This is eight gigs versus the six gigabytes found in both the 4a and the 4a with 5G. But we're even seeing a performance difference and breakdown between both 4a devices. And you can see the scores right there with a the nice breakdown. All right, last but not least, let's go ahead. Let's look at the UX rating for all the devices. You can see those right there. Android 11 across the board. We got a score of the 4A with 5G, 87, 48, 0 versus 97, 65, 9. And then you can see 89.72.8 for the 4A. You can see the breakdown right there. Android 11 across the board again for all the devices. Then we can learn more about the device down here too. You can see some additional hardware details if you want. So 5.81 inches for the screen for the 4A versus 6 for the 5 versus 6.24 for the 4A with 5G. Similar cameras, the 4A with 5G and the Pixel 5 have an additional camera on the back, the wide angle. Different battery capacities as well. So we have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery for the Pixel 5 versus 3,800 for the 4A with 5G versus a 3,000 for the Pixel 4A. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the Geekbench results. Here are the Geekbench 5 results right here. You can see the Pixel 4a 5G is to our left, the Pixel 5 is in the center, and the Pixel 4a is to the right. So on the 4a 5G, you can see our single core score versus our multi-core score right there. So we got a score of 567 for the single, 1323 for multi. For the Pixel 5, we got a score of 566 for the single, and 1580 for the multi-core score. For the 4A, we got a single core score of 530, multi-core score of 1514. Let's go see a complete breakdown right here on all the devices. So you can see our device versus some single core comparisons. And look, we got some of these Google devices already mentioned. So let's go ahead. Let's look at some of those comparisons right there. So you can see the Pixel 4 versus the 4XL versus the 5 versus the 3XL versus the Pixel 3, 2XL, 3A. So nice breakdown. We also see different devices for the Pixel 4A, which is great. Look at all those. So you can get a feel for where these fall in the pack. 
In case you're wondering too, both the Pixel 5 and the 4a with 5G use the same Snapdragon 765G processor, where the Pixel 4 just uses your Snapdragon 730G. So both the Pixel 5 and the 4a with 5G use the Snapdragon 765G. The Pixel 4a uses the 730G. Now let's look at the multi-core score. You can see we have 1323 for the 4a with 5G versus 1580 for the Pixel 5 versus 1514 for the Pixel 4a. And a nice comparison as well with other devices from Google. Or you can see right here for the 4a, we're getting other devices from like Samsung, OnePlus, Xiaomi, a lot of options there. Pretty cool too, you can see the average 1569 for the Pixel 5. So you can kind of get a feel for where they stack up versus previous devices. Show you guys those right here. And go look at some more. So you can see the results. We'll go down further. We have a ton of results for the 4A right there with all those other devices. So that's a quick look at the benchmarks with Geekbench 5. So after looking at the benchmark results, here are my final thoughts. The Pixel 5a led just about every category as expected. It is their most powerful device to date, right? It's their premium flagship model. But with that being said, if I had to choose between these three devices and I use the Pixel 5 as my daily driver, I would pick the Pixel 4a with 5G. It's the best value and basically you're getting all of the internals of the Pixel 5, same processor, all that good stuff, but you're not paying as much. Yes, you don't get the higher refresh rate screen. Yes, you lose two gigs of RAM. Yes, you don't get wireless charging, but here's what you pick up. You still get 5G, same cameras, larger screen size, and you pick up a headphone jack and you're getting very similar performance, but you're not paying the premium for the Pixel 5. So if you can, you know, forego all those features I mentioned, you'd be very happy with the Pixel 4a 5G. It really straddles the difference between the Pixel 4a with its incredible value and the Pixel 5 with its better performance. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel? We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord, you can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.